And do you think the Olympics would would maybe not die, but certainly would not have been the same standing, if you like, if they didn't introduce new sports from time to time, light breaking. I, I think it's challenged because of the dominance of other sports. I think athletics is often challenged. If you listen to Sebastian Coe and his views on it and what it needs to do, I think he understands the need to evolve. You know, you've got all these arguments going on about transgender compatibility inside the Olympic Forum and the, the, the position that's been taken by the IOC on this and new sports coming in. I think, you know, I think they should be trialled. I think they should be looked at. And I don't think people should get so sort of up in arms about, oh, hang on a second, the Olympic values. Well, we go back to the original Olympic disciplines and some of them are not there anyway. Yeah, yeah. There, there are always questions around what's acceptable and what is, what is not when it comes to the Olympic. I'd like to see um, a breakdance of a shot pot, though. Yes, that would be that so would be you, interesting. Why, why would you do that? Why? Because that would it's impress. It's a lack of respect, though, isn't it? Just, just, it's not a lack of respect. You've just said so it's many a, positive things, and he has to because, spoil himself. Oh, just, oh yeah, he had to come in with one. Just that Caram's left yeah, the, the studio. Yeah. Just because you say something yeah. to lighten the subject doesn't mean the subject's taken lightly. Mm. Okay, um, there's a nice message. Oh, crazy legs over there. Listen to the the breaker on the radio there. It sounded like Simon had dropped his wallet uh, with the, the thud that when it hit the floor. Macron, uh, the French president, Danny, is saying we're going to do everything to ensure that European clubs allow footballers to be available for the Paris Olympics. The French, of course, Good luck. want the likes of Mbappe, Chouameni, Kamavinga. They want them involved. I mean, is this an Olympic sport? Well, would, I mean, would you cherish a gold medal if no, you've been asked to play for, I, for I the Team GB at the Olympics? I wouldn't care less to me. Most footballers will tell you the same. They might, I, look, the, the reality is... And Bappy says it would be a dream to win it. Well, that's... What? Okay. Oh, you, might get, you might get the odd exception. Is this the same footballers who are whinging about playing too many games? I don't, I, you know what I mean? You can't have it one way well, or another. That's a good another. point. The, the, the reality is... That if you're club manager and you're, you're playing for Liverpool, you're playing for Real Madrid, you think if Jude Be if GB had a team and Madrid are going to let Jude Bellingham go and play, do you think that's going to be something they want him coming back injured from a... It from won't a... be their gift though, will it? No, I mean, but he... What happens, Simon? But it's also, it's I, don't, for... I don't actually believe the players complain that much. I think what players no, do I, I is they follow in behind managers because right, managers yeah. do the complaining and then players use it as an opportunity to build in some ready-made whining or excuses because that's mm. what they feel like doing at the time. I, I agree. I think that, you know, if, if this is billed in a certain way, and you do get elite athletes performing in the sports. In tennis, you've certainly seen the top tennis players going playing and it's so they attach value to it. And whilst I could care less what Macron says... The point is, is that there is some value to this, and Olympic gold still have significant representation. And no if, football, it doesn't. Well, they mean don't because it's not categorised that way. But it, you're you're sort of scoffing about the idea that Mbappe is suggesting that he wants to play, and I don't understand. Well, if no, it, he might want to play. Fair it, enough, it's up to him. Everyone's individual, and it will be up to him. The majority of footballers I grew up with and played with would the last thing they'd want to be doing in the summer is going to play in the Olympics. Well, because their priority is their country in terms well, would you of the World League Cups. Cup winner's medal. Say Absolutely. League Cup winner's no medal chance. for a, an Olympic goal. No chance. It doesn't mean anything in football. An Olympic goal. The, the Olympics for many years of football was a chance for the South American teams to play their young superstars, the under 21, 23 teams, and go over and play some football. The, the, the competition has never been thought of. As anything so I think that's a rather meaning. sad attitude, actually. I think that's a rather myopic one dimensional attitude because I understand that traditionally you look at the fact that, you know, playing for your country, but you, these are not excluded from that. This is not a mutually exclusive situation where you, you play for your country and subsequently you, don't, you, you, you play for Team GB. If you get a chance to win an Olympic gold in anything because of the cachet of the Olympics, I would have, I would have thought that most significant footballers would have felt that that's another opportunity to be recognised yeah. for something rather unique. I and mean, Andy and Murray's got an Olympic gold well, and he, he cherishes it. He, lo he loves yeah, the fact that's he that's my won point. It. Well, yeah. He, mm. Yeah, tennis is a little bit different. I just think you're a bit of a an individual scrote, and we might not have been asked in the first place. <laughs> I mean, the other thing is, you're play, playing for GB. They're going to have the token. The, the tokenism of lyrical about break dancing because some reason you sit in your bedroom watching it. Right? <laughs> but when you've got footballers doing it, all of a sudden you're not, you're not happy about it. You think it's farcical? Don't give I me do that. Do, the other problem, you know, you play you play for England, you play for your club side, and then you're asking to play for GB, where it's not going to be the best team available because oh. they need the token gesture Welsh guy, the token gesture oh, God, Irish, that's a good point. the token gesture Scottish guy. We've got we've got. Carry the Scots in there exactly. as well. Exactly. So you, it's, it, it, it makes it, it farcical. What Would you I swap ever? your Community Shield medal for an Olympic gold? No. Oh, sh <laughs> what? Yeah, but it is diminished by having the Scots and the Welsh. We beat Man United 
in front of 70, 80,000 people. So no chance. Yeah, the game itself. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Where is your Community Shield medal? I haven't got a clue. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Your Olympic gold would be in the lounge where any passing burglar could see it. eBay if it's Alan O'Danny. Yeah. That's true. a nice message. Uh, no name in it. I generally think breaking is going to be the highlight of the Paris Games. Really enjoyed listening mm. to it, kid. Can't wait to watch it. And the best of luck to young Karam. I agree with him. Uh, or whoever sent that message. Said, in. 100 days to go. Who? Unfortunately, Bruno no, Tonelli. No Scots in the breaking team, but uh, I'll just need to live with that and enjoy the breaking part of the Olympics when it comes along. It's 11 o'clock. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.